Academia, the U.S. military leadership, and a large chunk of the press are dominated with left-wing sickos who are pushing this narrative that America is a racist country. They're trying to force our people to abandon the teachings of Dr. Martin Luther King, who dreamed of a colorblind society and instead focus on critical race theory. Now, CRT teaches that our lives should be viewed through the prism of race. CRT, General White Rage Milley, the Socialist Democrat Party, and all left-wing extremists are instruments of division. They prevent us from being the United States of America. But I'm noticing a trend that the biased press is covering up, that the left wing is going to great lengths to hide, that reveals a level of hatred and depravity Americans should learn and understand about leftists. Who are the real racists? A revealing look at America's past, present, and future in tonight's preamble. We know that the home of anti-Semitism in America is the Socialist Democrat Party. This Jew-hating movement is led by squad members like Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, Rashida M.F. Tlaib, Ayanna Presley, and Ilhan Omar. Traditional Democrats have tried to sound the alarm about this faction that now runs the Socialist Democrat Party. As we speak, Joe Biden, a man who just armed the terrorist Taliban, is busy turning a blind eye as terrorists build nuclear weapons. Iran's nuclear weapon program is at a critical point. All red lines have been crossed, inspections ignored, all wishful thinking proven false. Iran is currently violating the IAEA's safeguard agreements, and it's getting away with it. The Israeli prime minister is worried that his people will be incinerated in the hail of fiery atoms. Joe Biden and his socialists, they're nowhere to be found. That party is too busy defunding Israel's defenses to, to care that Iran is close to delivering on their promised genocide of the Jews. Back here at home, the party of hate continues their efforts to divide and conquer our once United States. The Democrats' divisiveness, well, it has historical roots. Democrats defended slavery as a major party platform in 1861. The Ku Klux Klan was founded by Confederate war veterans who were Democrats. The Klan worked as the terrorist arm for the Democrat Party and white supremacy. The KKK's first Grand Dragon spoke at the 1868 Democrat National Convention. Jim Crow laws were driven and enacted by Democrat state legislatures. The majority of those opposed to the 1964 Civil Rights Act were Democrats. Democrat Franklin Roosevelt established internment camps for Japanese Americans. The statue of Senator Robert Byrd, once a grand cyclops, in the Ku Klux Klan still stands on Capitol Hill in Statuary Hall. That's only a partial list of what the Salcedo Show has researched showing the history of Democrats' racism. But it's not just history. It's very much today. What you all know, but most people don't know, unlike the African-American community, with notable exceptions, the Latino community is an incredibly diverse community with incredibly different attitudes about different things. You see, to me, the reason I was able to stay sequestered in my home is because some black woman was able to stack the grocery shelf. If you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump and you ain't black, that, too, is just a sample of Joe Biden's racism, Biden's bigotry that the mainstream press tried to hide from all of you in the lead-up to the 2020 election. Biden's history with racism goes way back. Joe Biden thought integrating black kids would lead to a, quote, racial jungle. Joe Biden also took a swipe at America's Indian population. You cannot go to a 7-Eleven or a Dunkin' Donuts unless you have a slight Indian accent. To fully, I'm not joking. Yeah, and now Biden and his hate-filled Socialist Party are attacking Latinos. Our brave Border Patrol agents risk their lives every day to protect this country. They do the job that Biden and his Socialists don't care to do. Recently, our border agents mounted on horseback enforced U.S. immigration law by stopping illegal aliens from bum-rushing the border. Accusations that our border agents used whips and lassos to beat illegal aliens quickly sprang up. Our agents were accused of running illegal aliens over with their horses. Those lies were quickly debunked. 
But that didn't stop Joe Biden, who was desperate to change the subject on his open border crises from using these slanderous false accusations against Latino border agents. To see people treat it like they did, horses barely running them over, people being strapped, it's outrageous. I promise you those people will pay. They will be an investigation underway now, and there will be consequences. There will be consequences. Everything Biden just said is a lie. Everything he just said there was a lie. But what does Biden care? He's just lying, trying to destroy the lives of some brown people. That's a small price to pay, right, to hold on to power, if, if you're a socialist Democrat. Fox News went to Del Rio, Texas, majority Hispanic town, ruined by Biden's push for illegal immigration, and asked residents there what they thought of our brave border agents. The town rejected Biden and his team's attempt to malign Latinos in uniform. One resident said, quote, it brought me to tears. These men are giving their lives, leaving their families to come here and secure us. I'm personally very thankful. Another resident said, quote, we back them completely. We say, don't lie about them. Please don't lie about them, end quote. But that's just what Joe Biden did. Joe Biden, Jen Psaki, Alejandro Mayorkas, and their entire team of socialists, they are perfectly willing to lie about brown people if it benefits their politics. The American left is the cancer that infects the body politic of the United States. If that cancer is not defeated, America will die. The Socialist Democrat Party is all about division. They can't get elected any other way. Joe Biden infamously claimed that he is the Democrat Party, and so he is. He is the perfect divider in chief. And Joe Biden is a racist. What else can you call a man who's willing to destroy the lives of brown people, his own citizens, because they get in the way of his anti American agenda? Mr. Biden, for all of your racism in the past and your racism in the present, you have this, liberty-loving Latinos, utter contempt. And I will commit to doing everything in my power to make sure your racism and division aren't part of my nation's future. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.